President Uru Kenyatta is planning to copy a KSH 4 billion project from Namibia following his recent visit during the country's 29th Independence Day celebrations on 21 March. According to Uru's personal assistant Pajamo Jakiga, the head of state was impressed by Seaflower Pelagic Processing Factory in Walvis Bay, Namibia, the biggest fish freezing factory in Africa. As a follow-up on the tour, Jakiga revealed that Uru had instructed the agriculture C.S. Festus Mwangi Kai Anjuri and his industry counterpart Peter Munya to follow up and ensure Kenya gets a similar facility in the future. The factory was set up through partnerships between the Namibian government and a private investor. Seaflower Pelagic Processing Factory freezes 600 tons of fish on a daily basis and has created jobs for 700 people. The government reportedly embarked on the project to strengthen the fishing industry in order to give Namibia a food security guarantee according to Namibia's Vice President Dr. Nangolo Mbamba. In November 2018, Nairobi hosted the first ever global conference on the sustainable blue economy which focused on exploring the immense marine resources and creating economic growth, ensuring healthy waters and building safe communities. In September 2017, a report indicated that a KSH 60 million fish factory built in Nairi was receiving an average of four fish per day against a daily capacity of two tons due to low fish production by farmers. The factory situated at Wamagana in Teta sub-county and run by the county government was part of the fish farming initiative under the government's economic stimulus program ESP in the 2009 tenths financial year. As of September 2017, the factory had only received and processed 758 kilograms of fish from farmers since its commissioning in February 2016.